Let's hear from Smoke, Marty. At times, the top five car today, was that anything other than flat payback? No, uh, I mean, I probably had it coming because I dumped him earlier, but I dumped him because he was blocking. So I'm, if anybody anybody wants to block all year, that's what I'm going to keep doing. So uh, they can handle it however they want. But um, it was payback. But, you know, I dumped him first, and I dumped him because he was blocking. So it, it's just... I've been complaining about the way that guy's been racing all year, and I like Brian. I'm not holding it against him at all. I, I don't. I don't care if it was Ryan Newman. I would have dumped him too. So uh, if they if they want to block, that's what's going to happen to him every time for the rest of my career. You and I were talking about this last week. Is the lack of respect more more prevalent than ever? I don't know if it's lack of respect or guys just pushing the envelope on not working with each other. So there wasn't any reason at the point of the race where he started blocking in the first place. So uh, you know it. It didn't make sense to do it, and I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not going to. I don't race guys that way, and I'm not going to let anybody race me that way. So if they block, they get dumped. Plain and simple. Okay. Day ends early for Tony Stewart, and he had a top five car, Adam. Okay. Now let's hear from Vickers, Marty. Well, I have to ask him the same question I asked Tony Stewart: Was that anything other, on your behalf, than payback? Oh man, I uh, I'd love to lie to you, but it wasn't. <laughs> don't lie to me, Brian. <laughs> no, no, I'm just not not my personality. Um, you know, I uh, I guess Tony told you that um, that he dumped me on purpose, and I, I know Tony well enough to know he's a, he's a smart enough driver that he didn't accidentally drive in there that hard and from like 20 back and wreck me. So, I, you know, I don't know why he did it. Um, I think he told you he felt like I felt was like you're blocking a little too much too early. Yeah, you know, um, he may not have noticed, but the 18 was off the racetrack and was coming back across through the dirt sideways, and I was trying to avoid the 18. And I was on the inside of the car in front of me, so Tony was the least of my my concern. I don't think it was an attempt to block Tony, um, but you know, he uh, that's what he felt like it was, and you know, he sowed his oats and he reaped them. So, when you have done something like this, you say you intentionally wrecked him. He say he says he intentionally wrecked you. How do you handle it from here? Uh, we'll be fine. You know, it's funny. I found it ironic that uh, our relationship started in turn 11 in 2004. What happened there? <laughs> he wrecked me, and then I wrecked him back. <laughs> Well, the, so this is a repeat of history. I, I think it is. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, just every once in a while, you just, stuff happens. I, you know, I'm not a scoutologist, but uh, it happens. Is there a growing anger on the racetrack or a growing lack of respect, you feel like? No, no. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Tony. Are you kidding me? I had a ball at his, his uh, prelude to the dream. I mean, what a great charity event. Um, you know, Tony and I, you know, it's funny. Tony and I race probably better than just about anyone on the racetrack on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, you know, when I get to him, he lets me go. When he gets to me, I let him go. Uh, I'm sure we'll be right back to that this next week. We just had a couple of things to talk about on the racetrack today. All right, so it sounds like these two intentionally wrecked each other, but it's in the past, and they're going to move forward, guys. Yeah, and.